Are you interested in becoming a pelvic floor physical therapist, but you're unsure on how to get started? Well, today I'll talk about the way that I became a physical therapist and the training involved to get to where I am today. First of all, I got a bachelor's degree and I ended up getting a bachelor's degree in um, psychology. So for physical therapy school in the United States, you typically have to have a bachelor's degree to go into the graduate school program. Um, some schools will have transitional uh, bachelor's degree into a DPT or a doctor physical therapy program, but I I went to a school that um, did not offer that so I got a bachelor's degree in psychology and the reason I picked psychology one I thought it would be helpful moving forward working with um, people but also because um, it allowed me the most flexibility to get all the required classes that I needed uh, in order to apply for PT school so um, it's important if you are applying to physical therapy school that you look into the recommendations um, or the required coursework the prerequisites so that way you can allow for enough time in your college curriculum to um, allow you to be able to complete those classes. So at the time that I applied, we needed um, two physics classes, two bios, an anatomy and physiology, and some chemistry classes. So the psych degree actually gave me a lot of flexibility in order to um, work in all those prereqs. Physical therapy school, I got a doctorate in physical therapy. So it was three years of rolling all year round school. Uh, we started in the fall and went fall, spring, summer, fall, spring, summer, fall, spring, summer. And this was mixed with didactic coursework and also some clinical experience. So our school had about a year's worth 52 weeks of clinical experience and that was um, spread across five or six different sites so we learned about acute care like hospital work um, we did inpatient rehab which would be like um, somebody's not quite as ill to be in the hospital but they're not quite ready to go home we um, did some clinicals in outpatient physical therapy and I specifically did one in pediatrics because at the time I was really interested in pediatrics when I first got out of school um, I took a job working uh, part-time in acute care and part-time in outpatient rehab and so the acute care was the hospital side so I worked with patients in the hospital working on their mobility making sure they could get out of bed safely and assessing whether or not they were safe to go home and then on the outpatient side I pretty much saw all orthopedics so um, back pain hip pain shoulder surgeries etc etc uh, what you would think of as like a, a regular physical therapist um, and I also worked with some neuro cases like people who were recovering from strokes um, and also like some dizziness vestibular issues but it wasn't until I um, had my son in 2017 that I really got interested in pelvic floor physical therapy so pelvic uh, floor physical therapy or pelvic health physical therapy has been around for um, some years probably 40 or so years in the 80s is whenever it kind of was emerging um, but I know it recently has gotten a lot more common and um, more well known which is so important because uh, it can really help a lot of people so after I had my son I had um, um, some pelvic floor dysfunction of my own. I was having a lot of issues um, uh, with pain and just with overall weakness. And so I started talking with the therapist that worked at my clinic at the time that was doing pelvic floor therapy. And she was like, you know, I think you would also be really good at this. So that was kind of what uh, set me on my path was my personal experience. And I know that's um, the case for a lot of therapists that go into the field is that they may have had some issues um, sometime in their life that has led them into that specialty. Not always, but a lot of times it's, it's cool if you have some personal experience because then you can really empathize and um, relate to your patients. After I decided that's what I was going to uh, spend my focus on, I signed up for some coursework. So um, since we do internal examinations, both vaginally and rectally, you have to have um, some additional coursework in order to learn these assessments. So in my physical therapy school, these were not taught. I think that some programs are, um, you know, spending more time on their pel pelvic health sections at, because it is gaining popularity, but I don't know if they do any type of internal internal or um, um, internal muscle exams at this point. Um, a lot of times students will try to get a pelvic health clinical um, rotations, which is awesome because there's a lot more places for them to complete their clinical rotations, but that was not the case whenever I was a student. So going forward, I took um, some coursework through Herman and Wallace. So they are a pelvic rehabilitation institute. Um, they, along with the American Physical Therapy Association, are pretty much the two organizations that offer the pelvic health training. So if you're seeking out a pelvic health physician, 
physical therapist, it's important that you look for ones that have um, been trained in internal pelvic floor examination and have had some additional coursework kind of post doctorate, um, you know, a continuing education. So I took level one in 2018, and then I've just progressed since then um, with their uh, other levels, just learning about um, additional pelvic health dysfunctions or pelvic floor dysfunctions for both females and males. Um, they also offer some pediatric classes. And so that's really the, the route that you want to take if you're moving from um, being a physical therapist to a pelvic health physical therapist, or if you're like a high school student that is interested in maybe one day becoming a PT and, you know, a pelvic health PT, um, there's just some steps that you have to take. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, please feel free to ask me any questions about my education, kind of what that looked like. If you are hope, um, if you are hoping to go down this career path, I would highly recommend it. It's so great. It's one of the few specialties in healthcare where we get a long time with our patients. So we have you know hour long appointments to really sit and really get to know our patients. So it's it's really a rewarding profession.